This is the plot of Very Little Nightmares in One Minute. You are Susie Raincoat, a young girl who is trapped on an island known as The Nest. An island that captures children and kills them. So it's not a great start for you. If you manage to survive the hundreds of ways to die on this island, then you'll have to deal with its residents. The craftsman, Old Man Longarms, who takes the skin from children, washes it, singes it, and dries it, and also makes wigs from their hair. The butler, Floating McFloatface, who washes the clothes of the dead children, and uses the skin and hair from the craftsman to reassemble them back into child taxidermy dolls. Also, bolts and telekinesis. And all of this is to appease this old lady child thing named the Pretend. Her caring personality, as well as her hands that delete people, results in her having no real friends. So she hired her staff literally to make her some, resulting in delusional tea parties, movie nights, and even family photos. So just like the movie Get Out, it was time to get out. Along the way, you become frenemies with a girl in white, who is sometimes helpful and sometimes not. The two of you escape the manor only to run into the pretender, who goes full psycho. You work together to get away from her, but despite your best efforts, you fall to your death with the pretender and get evaporated. But hey, at least your friend made it out, and I'm sure she'll be a good person in the future. This is the plot of Little Nightmares 2 in one minute. You are Mono. That's your name and your relationship status. Obvious by the paper bag over your face. You find a damsel in distress and immediately save her. She cowers at your heroicness and runs away from your face. However, having no one else, she is forced to work with you. And you escape the forest with a new friend. You wash up on shore to Pale City, a town shrouded in rain and mist. The depressed citizens stare at TV so long that their faces melt off until they just end it all together. Which I understand because this town sucks. Porcelain kids destroy everything, including themselves. This woman has too much net and and no sense of personal space. And the healthcare is run by Dr. Bantouch who turns you into a mannequin. And not the good kind. At least your friend is adapting to the situation. She's learned to handle the bullies and even picked up some new drip. We're besties for sure. Mainstream media turns out to be the source of all evil so you try to attack the TV. But they send businessman Sadako at you and he steals your only friend. So you challenge him to a dance off and ask to see his manager. Who turns out to be this. And it's at this point you think to yourself, this is not a very little nightmare. The nightmare consumes you but your friend manages to escape the horrors of mainstream media. She replaces you immediately with her imaginary friend but is feeling rather hungry after all that so she goes to look for a snack traumatized disgusted so i am confusion 